Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Good morning and welcome to Bind Us Together. I'm Pastor Peg Harvey Morose, the pastor of Grace Evangelical Lutheran Church in Lewiston, Idaho, and the pastor of Genesee Lutheran Parish in Genesee, Idaho. We began Bind Us Together back in March when we were on stay-at-home orders, and it was a way for us to remember that though we were separated, we we're never alone. God is always with us. God is always loving us. God will never abandon us. And that we are the body of Christ. We are connected through the communion of saints and we are never alone. This, uh, this morning's uh, devotion is pre-recorded so I can have a day off. And uh, so I won't be able to respond to your, your comments, but please do go ahead and type in especially your prayer concerns so that those who join you watching this video can pray along with you. This morning, we are going to look at uh, Psalm 100. It is the alternate psalm for this coming Sunday that we're not going to read, but it's a good one. So I thought, what the heck? So this is uh, Psalm 100. And the heading uh, in my Bible is, All Lands Summoned to Praise God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. I know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Well, that's just a darn happy psalm, and you know we we deserve some some uh, happy stuff, uh, especially since we've been in Matthew twenty five for a really long time. It seems like it's only three weeks, but it does seem kind of a long time. And so this is all about joy and entering into God's presence with gladness and singing and all this great stuff and um, knowing that the Lord is God. And again, we have um, shepherd and sheep uh, imagery here. Uh, we are the sheep of his pasture. So... Um, there is that, that care and comfort and uh, protection uh, coming to us from God. And um, then there's thanksgiving. Verse 4 is all about thanksgiving. And then I think this is the most important thing. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. You know, we've been living through wackadoodle times. We've been living in times where we're not sure who we can trust, um, who is good, who's the good guys, who's the bad guys. And, um, and there's just a, a whole lot of people trying to take advantage of just all sorts of things. Um, and so it is a good, good thing for us to remember that God is good. There is a, the, it's an old um, 
African call and response. You've probably heard it. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So someone starts it and the response uh, rings out. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. I love that. Um, and it's important to remember because when things are going bad, we can blame God. Why are you letting this happen to me? Why aren't you taking away this burden? Um, and so we can think about God as being vindictive or not caring or whatever. And so it's important for us to remember all the time that God is good and God is faithful. I, I started out saying that God is always with us. God is always loving us and God will never abandon us. And that's the truth. And that's what we need to hang on to in, in the rough times, but also in the good times. You know, when, when times are good, yeah, you know, we kind of have the attitude that, well, we're making this happen. We're making the good things happen. But um, everything, everything that we are and everything that we have comes from God. So, um, uh, our joy, our um, our love, everything comes from God. So, the God, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. I can hear you. I can hear you out there. <laughs> So I am feeling happy uh, because we've had this great word of Psalm 100. And so now I'm trying to find a... So the song that I picked for today, A, I love it, and B, it's very joyful. It, I found it funny. I looked in the back of the hymnal uh, under joy and this was not listed and I'm like wait a minute so then I just looked it up by its name because I do know the name joyful joyful we adore thee so here we go I mean not only is it joyful but it's forceful and so we're forcefully joyful here we go Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, God of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, praising thee, their sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the gloom of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. It's like there's little uh, elves or something around me. <laughs> Bringing in that. Uh so I, I want to pray for um, the 100,000, over 100,000 uh, new cases of COVID each day that we've seen this week and praying for uh, all of those who are sick, those who are hospitalized, and those who will die. And, uh, and I also want to pray that we find the joy in every day because even though we struggle there is joy every day somewhere in in the smallest things the biggest things joy is always there and it's whether we actually will see it or not is the um is the issue so pray that we see the the joy that is around us and to remember that God is good. So 
Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day. And we thank you for this reminder that you are good. And not just sometimes, but all the time. Lord, help us to hold that in our hearts so that we are not afraid to approach you with our needs and our desires and our passions, uh, but that we know that you want the best for us and you want us to be fulfilled and happy. So help us to uh, approach you with the joy that is all around us. Lord, help us to see that joy. Help us to live into that joy. Life is full of struggles, and if that's all we see, then we will miss the most important things in life. The, the simple joys of a sunrise, the beauty of the sunrise, or hearing the birds sing, or the sound of of rain um, as it's nourishing the land. Lord, help us find those places of joy even in our struggles because they are always there. And speaking of struggles, Lord, we lift up all who have um, been tested positive for COVID-19 this day and we pray for all who are struggling with the disease. We pray for those who are hospitalized. We pray for those who will die this day. And we ask for your comfort for them and for their families as they face the reality that over 240,000 families have learned uh, as they have lost the lo their loved ones, the reality of living without their loved ones. All of these things we lift up to you, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for being here this day. And remember, be kind. Wash your hands. Stay at home if you don't need to go out. Remember your neighbors. Share the good news. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.